Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to go over setting up masternodes, what a masternode is. I'm going to go over a pretty decent amount of information. I'm going to try to go through it pretty quick. Uh, like I said, thanks for, for watching. Um, appreciate the uh, the views. Please hit the like button um, and leave some comments below. If this is your first time on the channel, please hit the uh, subscribe and, and the bell for notifications. I've been putting out about three videos a week or so. Um, first, let's go over what a masternode is, if you don't know. Um, a masternode <clears throat> is running a, a node on the, to help uh, run the network. Um, you have to have, it's, it's like proof of work, um, but it's called proof of stake or POS, proof of stake. And how you run the node is you have a certain amount of co coins you have to lock up. There's a minimum amount for whatever that uh, corner token is. Um, and once you lock that up in your wallet, you have to run that wallet continuously. Um, which I'll read here. Um, in the crypto sphere, there are several ways in which you can make profits and earn a handsome amount of money. Uh, the best thing uh, you can choose, the best way that works for you, and can accordingly adjust your reward and risk ratio. I'm doing this as part of my series on how I'm surviving the bear market um, with the use of like trading bots and masternodes trying to get as much maximum reward with the bear market with taking the, the minimum amount of risk. And a really good way is masternodes because it's like mining, but you don't have to use the electricity. It's you know better for the environment, all that kind of stuff. But it's cheaper <clears throat> because all you have to do is own the coins and lock them or stake them in your wallet. But um, one of the such ways of earning in the crypto sphere, one of my favorite words now, I'm going to use this all the time, in the crypto sphere is by running a master node. But before I tell you how to do that, it's imperative that you understand what a master node is. A master node is simply a cryptocurrency full node or computer wallet that keeps the full copy of the blockchain in real time. Just like uh, you have blo uh, Bitcoin full nodes, and it's always up and running. This is the key thing it's always up and running. How it's always up and running, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I'm really sick today, so. Bear with me on it. I'm stuffed up. It's a little hard to breathe. Um, you can't just lock the coins in your wallet and then leave your wallet on and your com or open your computer on. You can if you're just going to do staking. But to run a node, you have to put that on a dedicated server. Now, most people don't have dedicated servers in their house. So you can use a, a company to run the node for you and then they just charge you a fee per month. I use... Uh, nodehub.io they charge like $9.99 a month to run the node uh, one of the some of the special functions of nodes are increased privacy transactions doing instant transactions and participating in governance and voting and enable budgeting and treasury uh, system in crypto so let's head over to nodehub.io very simple you can set up your node in 90 seconds if you, you know, pretty quick, but definitely under five minutes. It has a list of all, you know, the different uh, currencies they support. I have had about, I still do have quite a lot of nodes worth of, of uh, coins, probably 50, um, maybe more, but I don't have them all running. I've shut a lot of them down because, like I said, they cost about 9.99 or 10 bucks a month to run. So you have to have a money in your wallet appear to pay for that, and then those costs are taken out, out of this. Look over here. <clears throat> this will be what you fund your wallet with. At NodeHub, you can pay in Bitcoin, Dash, uh, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, or Litecoin. But if you use any of these coins, which they uh, they currently run the nodes for, you get a 10% bonus. So they could actually cost you like 8 bucks. Um, like I was using Airwire for a while. But I did shut my airwire nodes down because the uh, profitability, if the if what it's paying out goes down to under 20 bucks a month, I usually shut it down. Um, and right now, I have a bunch of nodes running, but see, this was up at like 12 bucks. I'm shutting the, the liberties down because they're just not profitable. And then the gambler's reviews, 
um, shows you the collateral you need, which is 1,000 or 50,000, how much it will cost to buy that on the exchange. So this is an average price. It's close, but it's not, you know, exact. And then this is what it's paying out per month. So these are costing me 10 bucks a month to run. They were paying like 12, 15 yesterday, 17. So I'm going to shut these down. I'm going to hold the coins and hodl them. Hopefully when the when the uh, market bounces back a little bit, or if the uh, the token takes off a little bit, then I might turn it back on, but not till then because they're not profitable. Um, but I did, you know, they were paying it a lot. I bought these for like probably 200 bucks, 100, something like that, 180, 200 dollars. But I only bought like uh, two nodes, actually just a little bit less than two. And all the other nodes that it paid in for me to uh, to to lock those up and have those other nodes. So I didn't actually have to pay for those. Plus, I sold some of the coins and took profits on it, so it was a pretty good deal. Now, let's head over to the dashboard. And you know, once this is not financial advice, not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, what I've done, and how to do it. Um, you can go through, look at all the different projects, and pick, you know, um, the ones you see one that you can afford. It looks like the return is good. Then you can research it, find out a little bit more about it. Uh, if you think it's a good thing to put into, then you can we'll go from there. But what I'm going to do today, I'm, I'm going to start up uh, XDEX. I have looked into Orwell and got the 5000 for the node. It's paying in 30 um, I cost a little bit more than that today. But, so, but uh, I'm having some problems with the wallet which I might go over if we have time. And then the Gambler's Review. I bought one master node a while back, and then I made enough to uh, put to open a second node. And since then, I have made enough now to lock in another 1,000 to make it three. So that is what we're going to do now. To, uh, if you, to first off, you're going to need to get your, uh, your tokens which most of them are for sale over here on uh, Crypto Bridge, which this is uh, Orwell. Um, once you uh, buy your tokens, then you would withdraw it to your uh, wallet. And we'll go down here to XDEX. You can see here, um, I deposited the money here. I, ran a, I did a test deposit first. Once you get your new wallet and you you know open it up and get it all set up, um, you should run a test deposit first. I did 10, it worked, so then I put in the rest, the rest of it. Now we're gonna go here. So we're gonna set up an XDEX. First thing you do is open your local wallet and hit the receive tab, and then you click request payment and you can name the label something. Now whatever you name it as is what it's gonna come in as. And then uh, you copy, you do the payment, and copy the address. So first, we're going to go to receive. We're going to type in. I always type in the node that it is. So we're going to type in node one. And again, and it is for five thousand. And then we're going to request payment. The payment that we're requesting, we're going to copy the address right here, ends in RM4E. So we have done this. We hit open the, and then hit uh, copy address. Then you're going to go over to send, paste the address in the box, and you're going to do it for 5,000, which is the minimum for the node, for this node. So we go over to send. Now, when you put in the address here, it's going to populate node one. So it's going to automatically do that. You got it for 5,000. I already got it in there. Address is correct. Then we're going to send. 5,000, hit yes. And then boom. Then we're going to go over to transactions, and you got one here It says payment to yourself. So we're going to double click on that, and we get this. So here we'll go next step. Now head over to transactions, which we did. Locate the transaction labeled payment to yourself. We did that and double clicked on it. 
then get the transaction ID that popped up in the box and copy it. Now we're going to paste the transaction ID here and click next. So here we go. And then next. Now it'll say that it's setting up our node. This could take 90 seconds or it could take a long time. If it does take a long time or you have any trouble, you can hit this right here. This will pop up on Node Hub and they'll, there's uh, someone there that'll help you. Customer service is always there to chat. Phenomenal customer service. Anytime I've ever had to talk to them, they've gotten everything fixed. I've never had an okay experience. It's always been excellent. Um, real people, they joke with you. They'll send you a meme. I mean, I've had it, it's they're pretty cool. So while that is setting up, so we don't have to stare at the screen. We're going to go do this real quick over here. So we're going to go to receive. This is going to be node three. Yeah, let's do three. And it's for 1000. And the message is node three. And we're going to request payment. Copy the address. And then go over to send. And it should populate node three. We're going to hit 1000 and send. And now we have in transactions. Uh, and I've had this problem with uh, with Gambler's Review, which I've had to talk to him about. When I do the payment to myself, it doesn't show up right away. But you can see here, I got like node one, node two. When they come in, they're uh, they come in under what you uh, what you labeled them as. Um, just real quick, while that's setting that one up, when I got the Orwell wallet, I opened it up. And you can see here, no blocks. It will not, by the way, it's set up. It will not connect. We have no connections. When that happens, a lot of times, probably half the time, when you get your, when you download the wallet first, you're going to have to go to their GitHub and go to get the com configuration file for the wallet. All you do is click here, click to open wallet configuration. Then you paste the lines there. That's uh, for the configuration of the wallet. Not the master node, close, save, and then you reboot the wallet. Then it'll start downloading the uh, blockchain. So let's head back to Node Hub. Now I see, um, head over to your, the, the node is set up. Head over to your local wallet, click Tools button, and then click on Open Master Node. Open Master Node Configuration File. Like I just showed you where it was wallet configuration. This is master node configuration file. You're going to copy this and then paste that in the master node configuration file. Save it and then restart the wallet. And now this is called Fractal Ashamed Constrictor Snake, which is a really, it's kind of a weird name. But that's the name of the node. Copy that. Go here to and close that back to X Dex X deck and then go here go to tools and you've got wallet configuration master node configuration now this is what should be there always these three lines I keep the example and it works for me if I erase the example it doesn't seem to work however my buddy for him if he leaves the example, it doesn't work. So try it this way first, and if it gives you trouble, then you can erase the example. But I leave the example and then put that there, and then close. It'll ask you if you want to save it. You say yes, and you're done with that part. There's the payment to yourself. Then you close, and it'll be, uh, once that's gone, then you reopen the wallet, 
and it will reload and update with the master nodes. And then it's going to resync. And this could take a second. And you should be able to start the master node over here at master nodes. So now that is done. We go to the last step. Then you head over to master nodes, tab in the wallet, select the master node with the alias fractal ashamed constrictor snake, and then start the alias. That's the alias. And if you're prompted, confirm your password. That's only if you set it up. Now, it should start right away. But if it says that it didn't or it failed to start or anything like that, then this gives you two steps which fix it most of the time. Uh, if they don't, if these don't start it up, once again, just hit the chat and they'll uh, give you some special codes or something to get it, get it going. All right, let's see how it's coming. Or it's 75%. Uh, and we should see the master node there. Now the master node's here. Um, you can see it here. Fractional or fractal ashamed constrictor snake. But it says missing. So we're going to click on it. And then we can start alias here. Or we can click on this and start alias that way. But we're going to wait till this fully syncs up before we do it. And we can check this here. See, this still doesn't say that I did the... Uh, the transaction went through. You see, I don't have that thousand available. But it's pending. For some reason, the gambler's review takes a while for that to come out of pending and then it goes there and then you'll see it but still that's it's weird I usually have to send it a couple times but I'll get with them on it right now we're doing this fully synced up so I clicked on this right click start alias are you sure you want to start the master node fractal ashamed constrictor snake yes alias fractal ashamed constrictor snake successfully started the master node now it shows enabled, you are good to go. So go back to overview. Now go here and we're done. We don't need to worry about using the debug. I'll show you how to do that anyway. It's really simple. All you do is just, uh, if it wouldn't start and it failed to start when you did that, you just hit that, hit tools, and you go to debug. And then you just paste that in there and you would hit enter and then it would start it up usually. If that didn't work, then you do the same thing, but with this. And then we're done. And then here's all your information. Perfect, blah, blah, blah. And you go to your master nodes. So now my X deck is in my master nodes. The collateral for it's 5,000. Cost 56 bucks to buy it on the uh, website. It's paying in 119. So I'm making $110 a month on that. The ROI on it is 2,566%. And the status is syncing. It may take a little bit of time. You can shut the wallet down and start it back up and then restart this. After a little bit, you should see running like these. If you ever want to turn one off, all you do is click this. Hit delete. It gives you reasons why uh, the coin price dropped too low. Closing it now it's gone now what I'm paying has dropped so then what you would do is you would go the one that I just turned off like this says West sparse demo so you would go to this and then tools open master no configuration wet sparse duro which I just I think I just shut this one down so I'll erase that one just erase it close it save and then it would disappear from the master node list. But that's if you want to shut one down. So I now still have two of these, all these, and we just started the X deck. That's it. You are done. And then uh, usually it starts paying in anywhere from 24 to or 12 to like 48 hours or so. Um, it'll start coming in, like you'll see here, uh, 
that they named the different nodes master. This is the one node two, node three, node five, node four, uh, node team six, lucky number seven. You can name your nodes whatever, and then you know what, when they're coming in and what it's paying. That is it. And then, like my uh, gambler's review just paid in 19. That's it on setting the note up. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. Once again, I'll put the links to notehub.io, which I just said it, notehub.io, um, which is who I use, and they've been, you know, wonderful um, uh, for as long as I've been using them. Anything uh, else you need, just leave a, a comment in the questions, or a, a question in the comments. Hit the like button. I appreciate the views and the subscriptions. Y'all take care, and I will see you in the next video.